What is up, Yasha Lions? My name is PD10, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Emeralds. In the last episode, I left you off with a decision. Which starter Pokemon shall I choose? You guys voted in your masses, and the eventual winner with an astonishing 24 votes, or something around that number, was... Mudkip, of course. You guys like Mudkips, not to revive an old meme or anything, but I should have just guessed... That you guys would have chose Mudkip and just went along with him all along. Anyway, I guess this little fight here serves as a little introductory fight. Really not too difficult. Easy to hit kill by the looks of things. Very, very easy fight. You don't even have to... Mudkip's oh, attack missed. Okay, it seems that this fight is more difficult. Wow, we keep missing. Okay, great start, Mudkip. Okay. There we go, we actually take out the Zigzagoon. Damn, that went bad. But yeah, very easy fight. No need to worry about it. Woo, I was in the tall grass during World Pokemon when I was jumped. You saved me, thanks a lot. Oh, hi, you're Philip. It's not the place to chat, so come by my Pokemon lab later, okay? And we get teleported to his lab. So, Philip, I've heard so much about you from your father. I've heard that you don't have your own Pokemon yet. But the way you battled earlier, you pulled it off with a plum. Is that even a word? I don't know. I guess you have your father's blood in your veins after all. Oh yes, yeah, so thanks for rescuing me. I'd like you to have the Pokemon you used earlier. And we're going to inherit the Mudkip that we got off Fessor Birch just then. Um, there weren't too many nickname suggestions in the comments, but I'm just going to choose my favourite. And that was Swampy, so uh, thank you to whoever suggested that. I'll probably pop your name on screen right now. I'm going to leave more opportunities for, ni uh, for nicknaming my Pokemon later on in this walkthrough. And heck, I might even change Mudkip's nickname later on. But for now, it's Swampy. If you work a Pokemon and gain experience, I think you'll make an extremely good trainer. My kid May is also studying Pokemon while, help while helping me out. Philip, don't you think it may be a good idea to go see May? Fine. Great, May should be happy too. Get May to teach you what it means to be a trainer. So what he's going to make us do is go up to Route 103, which is just past, just past Route 101 in Aldale Town. And we're going to battle her, but we'll get into that in a couple of minutes. Um, so yeah, we're back at Route 101, and, I'm, and every time I enter a new route, I'm just going to cover the new Pokemon you can find on this route. In these early routes... There's going to be a lot of Pokemon for us to cover, so you'll have to forgive me while I cover them. I'm going to use this time now, though, to slightly train up my Mudkip, because Mudkip, as it is, probably... I don't know, we'll probably struggle against May. Um, so anyway, the first Pokemon I want to cover is going to be Zigzagoon. This is the standard, generic, normal-type Pokemon you find in every generation, and really isn't anything better than a HM Slave. We'll get into what they are a bit later on, but as a team member, I do not recommend this. Our uh, next Pokemon is going to be Wurmple. Again, this is just the standard bug type Pokemon. It really isn't too useful. It has poor base stats. It has a poor move pool. Overall, I recommend you just avoid this one. And finally, what we are facing now is going to be Poochyena. Just as the other Pokemon on this route, this Pokemon is not fantastic either. It learns its only decent moves very late on, and while it evolves very early, it just isn't worth it. It looks cool, but as an effective team member, Eh, not really recommended. Um, two or so fights should be enough to get you to level 6 after you take on the Zigzagoon just then. But, um, yeah, I recommend you gain some levels, gain some experience, because, I don't know, it'll just help you out against the fight that's coming up. It really isn't too difficult, and you're going to have two potions before you even get to May. So, it's, yeah, it's not really a struggle, but it's better to be safe than sorry, I guess. As well as should say. And we learn Mud Slap. Mud Slap isn't really too much of a great move. I don't really like it. Maybe that's just me though. Um, this little Pokemon, Pokemon Mob Fender here. Uh, this guy's going to give you a potion. This is the second potion you're going to be able to get. And I think you can buy potions from the Pokemon Mart here anyway. So in theory you could end up like with 10 potions bef before you even face your rival. But yeah. Two is more than enough, in my opinion. Anyway, real quick, I'm just going to introduce these Pokemon Centers to you, because I'm just going to go by and assume that the people watching this video haven't played Pokemon, even though the audience is probably from my channel. But, whatever. Right here, you're going to be able to uh, revive or just heal up your Pokemon on your party. And in here, you're going to be able to, I don't know, 
just keep items, keep Pokemon in here, deposit them. You know, you can only keep six Pokemon on you at a time. Pretty handy. In fact, it's very handy. But I'm sure most of you guys know that's already. Um, anyway, if you try and head off to Route 102, which is just to the west, uh, this guy is going to be blocking our way and he's just going to say, Oh, I'm sketching footprints because there's a rare Pokemon. We'll get into that eccentric guy right there a bit later on. But what we're going to do is head up to Route 103 because that's where we need to go. Um, there is one new Pokemon you can find on this route, aside from the other three, I think. Maybe the only other two Pokemon you can find here. Uh, that Pokemon's going to be Wingle. Uh, while this Pokemon isn't terrible, it does have nice physical defense. It just isn't recommended for the simple fact there is an abundance of good water type Pokemon in this game. Not bad, but there are much better Pokemon out there. Um, may as well get some experience off this Poochiana while we're at it. Oh, critical hit, that's not too fantastic. Let's just pray. Let's slap it. You know, Mud Slap and Tackle, they're, they're all right as early moves, I guess. At level 10, we are going to be learning Water Gun, which is going to be very, very handy, particularly for the first gym that's coming up. But for now, I guess Tackle and Mud Slips, Mud Slip, Mud Slap is going to cut it. And hopefully, ah, uh, we get into a wild fight. I was hoping we could avoid this one. But I'm just going to run away from it. From now on, I'm just going to skip out wild Pokemon because there really isn't any point in showing them. Uh, when we get repels, it will be very, very easy just to avoid wild Pokemon altogether. Anyway, this is May. Let's see, the Pokemon found on Route 103 include... Oh, hi, Philip. Oh, I see my dad gave you a Pokemon as a gift. Since we're here, let's have a quick battle. I'll give you a taste of what being a trainer is like. Now, which Pokemon May has depends on which starter Pokemon you chose. If you chose Mudkip like me, she's going to have Trico, which a bit later on will actually be quite dangerous. Well, with, well, with Mudkip um, getting dual typing. Uh, but if you chose Trico, she's going to have Torchic. And if you chose Torchic, she's going to have Mudkip. Very easy, and wow, critical hits. This fight's easier than I was thinking it was going to be. See, very simple fight. We might even be able to get to level 8, maybe. Ton of experience from this fight. Halfway to level 8. Okay, not too bad. Wow, that's great, Philip. You're pretty good. If you lose this fight, you're just going to go back to her and retake her anyway, so it's pretty, pretty much impossible to lose that fight. I think I know why my dad has an eye out for you now. I mean, you just got that Pokemon, but it already likes you. You might be able to befriend any kind of Pokemon easily. Well, it's time to head back to the lab. And yes, we're going to have to backtrack all the way back to Little Root Town. Luckily, we can just hop over those fences instead of going through the grass and potentially going against wild Pokemon. So here's May waiting for us again. Over here, let's hurry home. That's where I was heading, but you interrupted us for five seconds, rendering our arrow buttons useless. Uh, but whatever, we're back home. Um, now we, now here we're gonna be able to get two pretty handy items, which you're not gonna be able. Well, you're not gonna be able to use directly, but they're always on you, and they're very. Okay, I guess you will be able to use them directly. But what am I even talking about? I heard you beat May on your first try. That's excellent. May's been helping with my research for a long time. May has an extensive history as a trainer already. Really? Sure doesn't seem like it. Level 5 Trico. Uh, I ordered this for my research, but I think you should have this Pokedex. This is the first item. The Pokedex is going to store... Well, Professor Birch is going to explain it for us anyway. The Pokedex is a high-tech tool that automatically makes a record of any Pokemon you meet or catch. So yeah, pretty handy. Whenever my kid catches a rare Pokemon and records it, States on the Pokedex. Why? May looks for me while I'm out doing field work and shows me. Um, she's also going to give us five Pokeballs. So you can catch your own Pokemon now, which, you know, if you want to just get a stacked out party, that'd be the smart thing to do, but I've got my team plans anyway. Well, most of it. Um, anyway, now we're going to be able to get the second like big item that I was just talking about. If you try and walk past your mother here, uh, she's going to give us the running shoes, which up until this generation, you didn't have. So you had to walk everywhere until you got the bicycle. But while holding B now, you can just run around. It's really, really, really handy. It makes the slow parts of the game, I don't know, a tad faster. 
So yeah, there's a little showcase. Um, just be warned that just don't run through the um, wild grass because I think there's a higher chance of running into wild Pokemon. I'm not 100% sure in this game. I'm 100% sure for hard gold and soul silver. But for this game, not 100%, but I'm pretty sure. Um, anyway, if you talk to this eccentric guy here, he's just going to say, I finished sketching the footprints of a rare Pokemon, but it turns out they were only my own footsteps. Okay, you idiot. Strange person. Let's speak to this guy. I'm going to catch a whole bunch of Pokemon. Anyway, yeah, this is Route 102 on Route 2 Petalburg City. Um, there are three new Pokemon you can find on this route, first of which is going to be a C-Dot. Compared to the other Pokemon I've covered in this little episode here, this isn't too bad. It makes for a good mixed attacker with nice speed and HP and a ton of resistances. It may struggle later on in the game and does have a lot of weaknesses to counter them resistances. But it's not bad. Our next Pokemon is going to be Lotat. Again, this thing may struggle a bit later on in the game, but early on this is great. It evolves early, it has nice special stats, complementing its typing and is capable of learning some great TMs and HMs. Good choice. And finally, and arguably the best Pokemon on this route is Ralts, or Ralts. Uh, this, this, this is potentially the best special Pokemon, special Pokemon in the game. Oh, I can't speak. Uh, with complementing speed to help, it learns some great special moves to back it up, and is overall recommended, obviously. Great, great Pokemon. Um, so yeah, we defeat that trainer right there. Um, every time, like, uh, what am I saying? There's um, trainers on every single route, but some of them aren't, I don't know, necessary to defeat. Um, most of the time, I'm just going to try and, like, skip them. Um, this guy isn't, like, needed to be taken on. Really can't speak today, I, I apologise, but I'll take him on in just a second while I go heal up my Pokemon, because we struggled a bit in that fight, so see you in two seconds. Anyway, we are back, and one thing I did forget to point out, it is kind of recommended to take on every single trainer, like, you can find, because they do wield very, very good experience, better experience than wild Pokemon. It's recommended that you take them on. Um... But yeah, I will try and skip out as many as possible, just because some of them are long-winded, some of them are frustrating, and some of them just... I don't know, not really... required, I guess, is what the word I'm looking for. This guy has two Wurmples, so it's very, very easy. Very easy experience. Like, these Wurmples do give some nice experience early on. Not later on, of course. Like, they're pretty puny later on in the game, of course. But yeah, let's just finish off with Tackle. Stop string shotting us. String shotting. String shot. I can't even speak. Um, the move String Shot just lowers your speed, which is kind of frustrating. Anyway, we're level 9. One level off learning Water Gun, which is a very, very nice move. Down and out. And we get a very small sum of money there. Every time you defeat a trainer, you will get a small sum of cash as well, which is kind of handy or neat or whatever. I'm not very tall, so I just sing right into tall grass. The grass goes up my nose and far, far, far. Why does he sound like dubstep? And ah, oh, that guy wasn't required. Really easy fight, but you know, no point in showing the whole duration of it. Um. Anyway, right here is going to be berries. In this region, you can plant berries. Um. Which is kind of handy, you get things that, like, restore your HP, or restore your paralysis, and poison, and whatever. Um, pretty handy, it's recommended that you can, like, replant them and everything. But, I'm not going to, just for the simple fact that it takes up quite a bit of time. Um, plus, if your, like, internal clock is broken, then it doesn't even work, which is a shame. Um, okay, there were two more fights. What level am I at for um, Mudkip? I think I'm at level 9. Like, yeah, I am. Um, I'm going to take on this trainer right here, even though it isn't too required. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to keep winning and aim to be the best trainer. Help me further my career. Uh, 
That was a fairly frustrating fight because uh, she had a Pokemon that was super effective against that Mudkip. But in that fight we did uh, level up to level 10 and we did learn Water Gun which was kind of handy and a uh, wild encounter while I was speaking. Ooh, Lota, that only appears 20% of the time, I think, if memory serves me correctly. Anyway, I'm just going to run from it because I don't really want to use it, nor do I want to defeat it, because it won't wield too much good experience now. Anyway, yeah, we are here in Petalburg City, so I think that was a good time to end off the episode. So thank you for watching, Yaush Alliance. Hopefully you've enjoyed, and until next time, I will see you guys later. Peace.